from Tennessee, in the United States. I'm 65 years old and I have traumatic brain injury. Um, I came to Costa Rica, first of all, through research starting last December for dental reasons. And through my research, I started seeing things about um, stem cells. And interestingly enough, it was only this last February that I began to look at my own brain injury in terms of not just how it has affected my life, but how it will be affecting my life from this point on. It's something that I had not spoken of. It was not something that I tried to deal with in any way. It happened uh, really four decades ago, and it had not really been acknowledged by others. But the point is that it was real, and it was, I had gotten to a point it, right now in my life to where it was difficult to function. Uh, I'm at the point where I'm what I call automatic pilot and once I acknowledged it and talked to friends of mine to share it and to come to terms and come to peace with it, they said that they thought I had early Alzheimer's. And um, that was very interesting. Um, I really had not heard that before because the injury itself had made me somewhat of a recluse because it affects it affected my short-term memory my long-term memory and it's difficult to be close with people and tell them that you don't remember having supper with them three months ago so i began to hear about it through my research and really this office was the one that i centered on i was impressed with the videos that i saw and i was also impressed with the relation that they said being i suppose sanctioned by the government here now i did notice that the videos had to do with physical problems joints and things of that sort so i tried to look for research that dealt with the brain and it's difficult because traumatic brain injury comes about through different means. Sometimes it's through a severe accident, like a car accident. Uh, you can have brain aneurysm. You can have electrical shock. And because it's so difficult to deal with, there's not a lot of information in some ways on it. And I had trouble finding information on it. And so I came to Costa Rica for my dental help in February and again in July. And right before I came here in July or June, I came across a recent article on traumatic brain injury and stem cells, which was very exciting because some of the research starts in 2016 and it's really not even good at that point. But not only was it TBI, but it also I had a very bad fall and I went ahead and was able to get an MRI of my brain from that fall and I could see the brain injury from before. I knew what it was. In the article that I found, which specifically was not on how I got my brain injury, but was on TBI, it mentioned the same damage that was on my MRI. So I was very excited. And, you know, frankly, I felt like that God was leading me through this whole thing anyway, because it was all new, it was scary, but there was a deep piece about it. And so I just moved forward. Frankly, I told God, if this is not from you, just please tell me no. And uh, came, and of course, it's very comfortable. It's very, um, I was very comfortable in the office. The procedure itself was very easy, very easy. It doesn't take much time. There's no pain involved. It's almost too easy. Uh, the biggest fear is, you know, will it really do something? You get your hopes up a lot over it. But... And the other thing is on TBI, which I've read subsequent, is that you know the closer to the injury that you do the actual stem cells, the better chance you have for recovery. Well, I was to a point to where any recovery is going to be good. You know, I'm living almost like a child in some ways. So we had the procedure, and I was told that really not a lot to expect but i did know that you're going to see the majority between three and six months and uh you know i started seeing something pretty quickly 
Um, you know, I conduct life on my own. I don't have a lot of people helping me, so it's not like I have a hard time figuring out what I can and can't do. And some of the things I noticed right away, when you have, I had electrical shock to my brain, that is what caused it. And uh, with any TBI, you have personality changes. It's not just that you cannot function physically. You know, when you start affecting the brain, it affects you emotionally. Your personality has changes. And uh, I've had problems with, of course, cognition, uh, memory, and personality-wise, um, emotional lability, which is up and down, and also irritability. I've struggled with this for a long, long time. And that's, you know, a couple of things that happened rather quickly was my nerves calmed down, which has been, <sighs> can't imagine. Uh, it was difficult before to know day by day what I was going to be able to do and what I was not going to be able to do. I could make plans, but I never knew if I was going to be able to do anything. Am I going to be able to utilize any initiative? Am I going to be able to put plans into place? Can I concentrate enough to um, do things that I want to do. I'm not a person that enjoys sitting. I'm not a person that likes to watch TV. I'm not a person that's happy being, you know, with the simple things. I like to be creative. I want to have plans. I want to have a full life. And that was not happening. Uh, and I was used to it, but because you, you know, you, get to, you can't do anything different. So <laughs> the changes right now are my nerves have calmed down. Um, and this was strange, I, had, I would have problems in the morning also sometimes if I get overextended and I would not recover with a night's sleep. So the next morning I didn't necessarily feel rested and could not go forward. Every morning I wake up and I'm like, I'm ready for the day. And the um, problems with irritability, um, which comes from the electrical shock, made it difficult to um, s spend time with um, people for extended periods or um, sometimes in my jobs. I, I was very much a loner and this has changed. My nerves being calmer, I'm calmer. I'm enjoying my personal relationships more because I, I know some wonderful people, really, really wonderful people. Uh, my uh, thinking is clear. My clarity of thought is much better. And my ability to do things, which in my view is just normal life, but it's a great joy now. I can make plans. I can, um, I'm not losing something every two minutes. And um, I can think about work and think about home at the same time. Um, you know, I felt before that I just could deal with things that were right, what we call in English, just right at the end of my nose. I could think to the end of my nose. And I know how to make lists, you know. I, I mean, I've had to learn a lot of methods to maintain life over the years. But I feel like I'm having, beginning to have a normal life. So I'm looking forward to more. Um, I've made making some good decisions about reducing uh, certain stresses that I put up with because I, you know, some things that I did that didn't necessarily want to do, being around uh, just because I needed some certain help in my life. I'm now able to make decisions as an adult. And as a matter of fact, I'm in some therapy right now, physical therapy to help actually balanced my body because my energies are changing and my body's trying to get used to it. And one of the things that seems to have come from moms is that, you know, it looks like I'm going to have a, 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 a natural, mature life. Nothing, I'm not asking for a lot, just normalcy.